This case studies the changes coming to BYU Broadcasting in Provo, Utah. The date of June 30th, 2018 marks the end of PBS broadcast stations KBYU Television and Classical 89 KBYU FM Radio. On that date, BYU Broadcasting will consolidate down to two media entities, BYU TV and BYU Radio. Hi, this is Terry Mitchell. I am in San Diego, California at SeaWorld, and I'm looking at orcas. So we're studying about change, and how do you move an organization when it's big and it doesn't want to move? We haven't really had, since moving into this facility, a, a period of real transition like we're about to have in June. So I don't think any of us fully know what to expect and what the aftermath will bring. This is BYU Broadcasting, a 100,000 square foot facility with state-of-the-art technology located on the campus of Brigham Young University. A live tour of the facilities and interviews from key people in the BYU Broadcasting organization give insight about changes that are coming. Okay. So, master control. Will this change is. in June? Anything here? Nothing structurally, nothing personnel-wise. The only difference is KBYU. So one of those screens up there will go dark. In order for us to be effective in competing for viewers in a media landscape where there are you know, just hundreds of content providers, I think sharpening our focus will help us to do that better. There has been significant resistance to the coming changes, both internally with classical radio employees and listeners in the community. Sure, there's, you know, there's pain in change like that. Mm -hmm. You know, KUA TV and Classical 89 have been mainstays in the community for a long, long time. I'm heartbroken that yeah. it's going away, but that's what yeah. has to happen. There, That's the management's decision. Yeah. So, but yeah. there's many, many people out of the community, thousands of us, yeah. that are heartbroken. Yeah. And it's going away. So what do you think of the change? Uh, it's like a, a favorite grandpa that I hoped would never die, but he did anyway. And I, I see the reasoning behind it. I see the value in consolidating resources and making BYU Radio as great as it can be and getting BYU Radio on the local airwaves. Um, so it's kind of a no-win situation. You can't have everything you want. The solution is outlined by the Heath brothers in their three-step model, How to Make a Switch. Let's compare our emotional side to an elephant and our rational side as the elephant's rider. The path is the situation we want to change. Change doesn't work because the rider can't keep the elephant on the road long enough to get to the destination. Employees are resistant to this new direction on the path and want to go the same way they've been going. Familiar routes are safe and comfortable. The rider should be crystal clear on the direction to motivate that elephant on the shape of the path. Direct the rider. Motivate the elephant. Shape the path. A bright spot with BYU TV is their successful sketch comedy show, Studio C. This show has passed a billion downloads on YouTube. Studio C is most known for the show that films in here, Studio C, sketch comedy show. Okay, let's talk about Studio C. You've mm -hmm. had a lot of success with that. They yeah. just had a billion views. They just yeah, passed a billion yeah. views on YouTube. Uh -huh. is, is that your anchor? Yeah, Studio C for the past few years has been probably the anchor. Welcome, 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 welcome to Studio C. Sweet butter trumpet! We're a sketch comedy show like you've never seen before. We do live broadcasts. And we make it so the whole family can watch. I'm wearing swimming trunks right now. To join in the fun, click the subscribe button. Click it. Then watch new hilarious sketches every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All year. Peace. We are going to be doing an awful lot more with our content as far as what we produce. Yeah, we're, we're aggressively pursuing original content, not only in stuff that we are producing in-house, but in stuff that we're partnering, outsourcing with other production companies. The shift we've made is to provide co-viewing opportunities where parents and their children can watch programs together. Ambitiously, we'd, you know, we'd like to own that space. So hold on. 
After studying this case and looking at industry trends, here are recommendations. Classical radio needs to be retired. The market is too narrow for sustainability and KBYU Radio is finding success. An alternative to completely eliminating classical music would be to create a separate classical streaming channel to utilize the expansive classical music library collection. Media market trends don't support the BYU TV market audience being pursued. The recommendation is to expand live streaming content that has found success like Studio C and other significant live events that support the BYU mission and message.